Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Holly and I am here for my first video of 2016. Yay! So for 2016, my first video is actually going to be from 2015. It is my 2015 Christmas haul video. I'm actually very, very excited about it because I got some pretty awesome stuff. And then again, the disclaimer that I hear a lot of people having to make, which I don't really understand why because it's a haul video, but the disclaimer is it's not a bragging video. It's just I wanted to share with you the cool stuff that I got. Along with the haul, I am also going to be kind of doing a resolutions for 2016. Not so much a resolution per se, it's more just like things that I want to accomplish for 2016. So stay tuned for the end of the haul video for that if you wanted to hear more on that subject. If you haven't been watching any of my previous videos, then you probably don't know that I am a huge Harry Potter fan, but if you have been watching my channel for a while, you will auto automatically know that I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. And hello, look at my sweater, which <laughs> is a Hogwarts sweater. Yeah, I love Harry Potter. My husband also loves Harry Potter. So he got me some really, really cool Harry Potter stuff that I've wanted for a while. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Noble Collection, but if you are a Harry Potter fan or even like the Game of Thrones fan, they have a lot of really cool licensed items via the Noble Collection. It's a really, really cool site, so highly recommend going to that site if you have a chance to check it out. So a lot of the things that I wanted this year for Christmas was from the Noble Collection. So the first thing I want to show you is really cool. It is the Sword of Gryffindor. This is actually meant to be a letter opener. And here's kind of a more up close shot of it, if you can see it. It's really detailed. The only thing that I don't kind of like that I noticed when it came in was this part on the bottom that says Gryffindor. To me, like everything is so detailed and so beautiful. And then you come across this and it's like a sticker. I really feel like they could have engraved that into this metal and it would have made it a hundred times better. Although that being said, I still think this is a really cool piece and I highly recommend for you guys to get it. Everything else on it is really detailed. I'm gonna kind of zoom in a little bit on this sword if you can See it but the sword has really great intricate carvings on it and it has like this cool like I don't know if this is ruby or just like enamel painted on here and then it has really cool uh, stones or plastic ruby looking things on the top and on the sides so it's really really detailed and then the stand is really cool um, I try to zoom in on that a little bit too so you can kind of see more detail on that but it it's just a really cool stand except for the sticker that they put on the bottom here but again it is what it is can't really change it but it's still an awesome piece and I still highly recommend getting it also I don't know if you noticed but on the actual blade it does have Godric Gryffindor's name on one side and then on the other side it has the uh the actual license to so that you you know know that it's an authentic piece i probably will not use it as a letter opener i don't want to risk damaging it i'll probably just use it as like a display piece the next item that i received also came from the noble collection um, my husband got my husband got me all of these gifts because my husband is pretty amazing <laughs> but i got this prophecy orb which is really cool again they did a really great job with the details on this it has three serpents uh that hold the orb up <clears throat> And it is removable, so you can use the orb separately. And then it has the three little serpents on it, which is really cool. And then, of course, the orb. So really detailed, and then on the bottom it has all the licensing information on it. The next item, this is something that I've wanted for quite some time. Not necessarily this piece, just something similar to it. It is, it is this sorting hat pen holder. So I've really wanted the sorting hat in my collection for quite some time. I just didn't know in what 
type I or what type of sorting hat I wanted. Initially I planned to make like a paper mache sorting hat. I had seen a tutorial on that on YouTube and it was just an epic fail. So I was like, nope, that's not gonna happen. And then I saw at the Wizarding World, they had a smaller version of the sorting hat, which was on the stool. And I think it was just like a model and it was pretty expensive. I don't recall exactly how much it cost, but I just remember it being very expensive for what it was. And I, was, I didn't feel like it was worth it. This, it was it wasn't too too expensive i don't remember exactly the price but you can go onto the noble collection website and see it there and i thought the detail on this was amazing it was worth the the money spent on it and it wasn't as much as the piece that i saw at the wizarding world and i think it's really cool looking you can purchase the pens for this separately and it's the four house pens like in their colors but again they were like ten dollars each so it was a little bit too expensive to purchase each of the pens individually for now i'll just probably put you know my pens that i currently own in it or just use it as a display piece and then maybe in the future either do a diy to create the pens or purchase the pens i'm kind of torn right now as to what i want to do but this is kind of an up close detail of the sorting hat it looks so cool again really they did a really great job with the details of this it has the hogwarts emblem in the front and then on the back you can see where you hold the pens the next piece I want to show you, again, from the Noble Collection, it is something, again, that I have really wanted, but didn't know in what way I wanted it because they sell a lot of different versions of this. It is the Mirror of Irised, which I'm going to kind of cover this part because it, it, is, it is a mirror, so you'll be able to see anything reflected off of it, <laughs> obviously, for obvious reasons. But it, again, really cool detail. It's a very heavy piece. I'm going to kind of show you up close what it looks like. It's a heavy piece and then on the back you can either display it using like a picture on your shelves or on your desk or whatever, uh, what have you, or you can hang it on your wall, whatever you want. But it is pretty heavy so I would recommend if you do hang it on your wall if you get a piece like this to use anchors. Uh, that's probably what I'll end up doing, either that or just put it on top of my bookshelf or something I'm not really quite sure yet but it's a really beautiful piece they sell at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter they sell a picture frame version of this it's smaller it's I believe like three quarters of the size of this one which is really cool also but again I didn't know if I wanted that version or this version and I feel like once I got this version I was way happier with it being a mirror versus a picture frame it just made more sense since it's mirror the mirror of Irised and not the picture frame of Irised um and then little fact I don't if you are a Harry Potter fan you probably already know this but if you spell Irised the other way around it actually does spell out desire which is Kind of cool. That is it for the Noble collection. A slight disclaimer, I have purchased items on sites like eBay. For instance, I got the Rowena Ravenclaw's crown that I found on eBay for like five dollars. It wasn't official licensed merchandise but it was only like five dollars and it came with free shipping and it was when it came in the mail I expected it to be really cheap but it was actually a really great quality. I'll probably do a video of that later and I purchased that before the Noble Collection had that available in their store and now that the Noble Collection has it I believe they're selling a similar version of it for around $60 or so which I feel like is so expensive for something that you can buy on eBay for like $5 but again it's up to you if you want official licensed merchandise of course spend that extra money to get it. The last thing I'm going to show you I can't really show you right now because I'm actually using it right now to film this video. 
I was so excited to get this gift. My husband really went above and beyond when he got it and I was so excited. I currently film most of my videos using my cell phone. Uh, I am very new to YouTube so my cell phone was good enough but now I kind of want to upgrade and I've always 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 wanted a DSLR camera for as long as I've known because I took a lot of photography classes when I was younger and then I also took some when I was in college as well. So I've always wanted a DSLR camera and my husband, oh, I love him so much. He got me the Canon T5i Creator Kit. <clears throat> this came with the body, the kit lens, as well as the a Rode microphone and a 32 gigabyte SD card. So this comes with almost everything you need to start off uh, having your YouTube channel. I will use my cell phone to kind of show you my setup and how it looks because like I said I'm using it right now to record this video so I can't actually show you it. I'll show you the footage now. But it's really cool. It comes with almost everything you need to start off. The They did come out with the Canon T6i and you can get the Creator Kit if you are interested in the Creator Kit um, with the Canon T6i instead if you wanted to get that version. But I believe the only difference between the two cameras is the T6i has wireless capabilities versus the T5i does not. So, and I, I've watched a lot of videos and then I've, I've researched a little bit as well prior to requesting the T5i camera. And the majority of people say that it is the lens and not the camera that you want to invest all the money in. So I will probably be purchasing a couple of lenses once I kind of get the feel um, of the camera a little bit more because you know, this is my first DSLR, so I don't really know what I'm looking for. He did get me the T5i for Dummies book because I am so new to using a DSLR, so <laughs> I am reading a little bit ab about it, and of course I'm going to be playing around with it a lot, so hopefully you'll be able to see, you know, any improvements in my video quality from using this camera. That is all the cool things that I got for Christmas this year for my husband. He really went above and beyond this year and I couldn't have asked for anything more because he just went crazy with gifts this year. So now on to the resolutions or the goals portion for 2016 of this video. So now that I feel like I've got the hang of things when it comes to YouTube, my goal is to try to come out with a video at least consistently and my goal is to at least get one video out every week and also try to do it on Sundays, Mondays, or Tuesdays. So, but it is my goal to at least do one video every week. Uh, I do work a full-time job and then I of course have my family so it is really hard for me to produce these videos and then also edit them and get something out. <laughs> it's a lot harder than what I thought it was going to be when I initially started on this journey. I was thinking, oh, this is going to be so easy, but it's work. It is like having a second job. <laughs> so it is my, it's going to be my goal to have consistent videos come out every week. And then I also have a series in mind of something that I want to do. I really want to do more Harry Potter related things in the future. So I'm going to show you my bookshelf, my collection, things like that. But then I also have another series that is also based off of Harry Potter that I want to come out with. So stay tuned for more information on that because I'm super excited about that. I also want to make sure that the quality and the content of my videos is something that 
I would be proud of to put out. In the past I was more concerned of how many views and things that I was getting and since I'm starting off that really shouldn't be my goal because you know I only have 200 subscribers and I'm so appreciative of, of the 200 subscribers that I have um, but when I, I watched my first vlog that I came out with and I wrote on or I said on there that I didn't care who watched my videos or if no one had watched them. All I cared about is that I was doing something that inspired me, that made me excited to, you know, do things every day versus just going home, going to work and just kind of going through the motions of my day-to-day -day life. And this journey through YouTube really showed me all of all of the things that I remember in high school when I did photography classes and when I did video classes and it just got me super duper excited and really rejuvenated again to kind of, you know, inspired. It, it really got me inspired again. So that's my goal is to do things that inspire me with every video. So you'll see vlogs, you'll see things from that are Harry Potter related for all of these future videos, but it's going to be more things that I'm interested in and hopefully you guys will be interested in as well. Um, but yeah, so those are my goals for 2016. I'm really excited for what the year has to offer. I really can't wait to film these videos and get these videos out there for you guys and I'm just really excited. So my battery's about to die. I need to wrap this video up, but thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys for 2016. Bye!